Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, giving you kind of like a little rundown of what Mr. Casanelli uh, um, did a comparison between um, AMLO and Trump's way of governing. And um, I, I actually was a little bit surprised by it and you might find uh, it surprising as well. So this is uh, originally in Spanish, and I'm going to translate my narrative to English as I break down a little bit of what he says. It, it, it is kind of long. It's, it's, it's 30 minutes long, um, but I'm going to try to, um, you know, make it a little more concise, okay? So here we go. And this is uh, Mr. Casanelli uh, did this uh, recording. And I guess he's about getting ready to start. Entre muros y puentes, el drama de América Latina. So he says that entre muros y puentes, um, that means between um, walls uh, or like mortar walls, like like the walls you would put in a, um, uh, like a, a protective wall that goes around a castle, like a, a barrier wall um, uh, between uh, walls and uh, puentes are bridges. So, so he says that uh, AMLO and Trump between uh, bridges and walls, okay? And so he's also saying right here that he's going to take off his um, uh, cervical collar um, He's got one of those collars because about two weeks ago he had a a, a C um, a cervical um, discs uh, replacement surgery, and he's still um, convalescing from that. But he has so much to say he didn't want to wait till he he healed uh, to start his uh, uh, you know shows his programs. There you go, Yarin. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go a little bit. So he says, forgive me for that. But okay. anyway, so now... Bueno, eh, hemos bautizado esto entre, entre muros y puentes. So he says he baptized it uh, in, uh, between bridges, I'm sorry, yeah, bridges and murals, or muros, uh, which are, you know, like um, walls, barriers, barrier walls. <laughs> Mientras se llena el escenario, quiero contarles una historia. So he wants to Ahora tell us a story. York viendo CNN. So he said he was y, in, ah, he was in uh, New York and he was watching CNN. Um, una promoción en el canal CNN. And he saw promotion. Que Turner, that they were. Dueño de CNN, fundador de CNN. So they were talking about uh, Ted Turner, the founder of CNN, and somehow they were uh, baptizing him as something, which he's about to say. So 1980, it was the biggest chain of America. Ted Turner se ha convertido hoy día en el Capitán America. So he says, una serie, una película, el Capitán America. He says, Ted Turner is today uh, converted himself into Captain America, like a series of Captain America. Es que en el fondo los medios de comunicación de hoy día, a los cuales Trump y AMLO eh, tienen como sus enemigos principales. So he says, it's just that the uh, media uh, of today, which Trump and AMLO both have as their primary uh, or principal enemies. Eh, deciden a través de toda la maquinaria mediática que se arma en torno de ellos. That with all the media uh, apparatus that they've armed uh, amongst themselves, they make a decision. El futuro de América. They decide the future of America. Por eso hoy día hemos bautizado este editorial entre muros y puentes, porque mientras Trump pone muros, AMLO pone puentes. 
So today we're calling this show Between Murals or, or uh, Walls um, and uh, Bridges because while Trump is building walls, uh, AMLO is building bridges. Y América Latina, este, el drama de América Latina, and the drama of Latin America, está precisamente en que su riqueza la hace apetecible para las grandes potencias. So, apparently, that its wealth, um, the riches that are found, the natural riches that are found within Latin America, make it uh, very appetizing to uh, those people that are interested in acquiring wealth. Y esas grandes potencias que han dominado el mundo. And these great powers that have dominated the world. Siempre miraron a América Latina como una posibilidad. They've always looked at Latin America as a possible. Enorme para las grandes compañías que tenían. A, a great, uh, that it would be a place for their great companies. Tenían que, que ser, de alguna manera, quienes regirían los destinos de los políticos. So they, they considered themselves those that would decide the political avenues and destiny de los políticos de América Latina. for the politicians of Latin America. O sea, América Latina nunca fue libre totalmente. And Latin America was never totally free. Nunca llegó a, a liberarse, ni con it never did, was able to liberate itself. Martín, ni con Bolívar, ni con not with Martin, not with Bolívar. Nada. With no one. Manera, este, eh, ser libres. Pero estamos... No, not in any way were we able to become free, liberated. Mejor que antes, definitiva. But we're definitely better than before, he says. Yo le voy a leer ahora un pasaje a los mexicanos de México eh, durante la guerra. So he says now he's going to share a passage uh, from Mexico uh, about a time uh, before the war. Terminando la Segunda Guerra Mundial. So as the Second World World War ended, eh, México era controlado 100% por Norteamérica. Mexico was 100% controlled by, by uh, North America, I guess the U.S. Porque ya se había instalado la quinta columna alemana ahí. Because at that time, the fifth branch of Germany had already installed itself there. O sea, los nazis también habían puesto los ojos en México. And the Nazis had also put their eyes or set their eyes on Mexico. Habían puesto los ojos en Argentina. They also set their eyes on Argentina. Entonces ya la disputa de nuestro territorio, o sea, Sudamérica. So then the dispute became our territory, Latin America. Estaba descrito muy bien y muy de, de manera muy objetiva por un... They had described it in a very descriptive and objective way. Periodista que se ganó todos los premios. And it was described by a, a, a newspaper man or writer that had won all the prizes. Por su libro, El Drama de América Latina. For his book, The Drama of uh, Latin America. And uh, in English, it's a little bit different title but it, it's, uh, it does say Latin America in it. Ya Gunther, John Gunther. And it's uh, written by John Gunther. And he is uh, a writer that wrote this book regarding uh, Latin America. Había sido en esos años enviado por la BBC de Londres. Mira. And at that time, he had been sent by the BBC in uh, London. NBC para que estudiaran América Latina como un tema este, de sentido de pertenencia, es decir... 
So they had sent him to check out um, Latin America kind of in a sense of something that could belong to them, some, some kind of a belonging, something to be attained. Antes que lleguen los alemanes a defender. So before the Germans could enter to uh, try and defend del comunismo, si or supposedly to defend us in order to defend us from communism era el pretexto de la quinta columna alemana. well uh, that was the pretext of the fifth branch of the uh, Germans que tenía medios de comunicación en México y medios de comunicación en casi toda América Latina so they had media communication in all of Latin America. Eh, los norteamericanos también veían ese peligro de que los nazis disfrazados pudieran... So the North Americans, or that is to say the U.S., also saw the, the danger that the Germans would disguise themselves. Hacerse dueño de nuestros países. Si fue... And make themselves the owners of uh, our countries. Los norteamericanos quienes dieron el primer zarpazo. So then the North Americans or the U.S. took the first step to, to try and beat them to the, to the punch. Y les voy a narrar lo que pone Gunther en este libro, El drama de América Latina, que les muestro acá. So, um, this is, uh, he says he's going to show you from the book that John uh, Gunther wrote, which says the drama of Latin America, but I bought the book today, and it said some different title. It didn't say drama, but it said something like uh, about Latin America or, or something like that. Acá está. El drama de América Latina. So, but that's what they named it in Spanish. Donde en sus páginas. And in its pages. Voy a permitir leer esta partecita. I'm going to read this little part. Y miren lo que dice Gunther del tema de México. And take a look here what Gunther had to say about uh, the topic of Mexico. Obviamente también se habla de Venezuela en la misma. Obviously, they also talk about Venezuela. Dirección, Ecuador. And uh, in the same way, uh, in Ecuador, too. Y de todos los países nuestros. De and all of our uh, countries in Latin America. En Centro America. And in Central America. America. All of America, the Latin American countries. Dice Ulter, la disputa del petróleo con el conflicto. He says, the dispute... Uh, regarding petroleum and uh, just like the conflict de la iglesia, of the church no es considerada por la mayor parte de los mexicanos. It's not considered by the majority of the Mexican people. Eh, la cuestión tiene raíces profundas. The matter has very deep roots. Los grandes intereses petrolíferos, especialmente la Mexican. The great uh, petroleum uh, controllers, specifically the one petroleum company called... Eagle Company. Black Eagle Company. Controlada por los británicos. Which was controlled by Great Britain que fiscalizaban alrededor del 70% de la producción de toda la nación. And they controlled about 70% of all of the petroleum of all Latin American uh, nations. Empezaron la explotación comercial del petrol, petróleo a, a principios de este siglo, o sea. So they began the um, exploitation of petroleum during that century, which was about 1900. Eh, and he continues to narrate in a very precise manner que llega a para a 
expropiar el petróleo. So Cardenas, uh, which was a, a Mexican president, uh, came in and started to uh, exp uh, expatriate uh, the petroleum a las grandes compañías mexicanas que to the uh, great uh, Mexican uh, companies, petroleum companies. El número pasaban, si les leo el número, ustedes no podrán creerlo. He says, if I tell you the number of those companies, you would not believe it. Aquí lo tenía apuntado. I had uh, noted it here. Fíjense ustedes, todas las ¿Saben cuántas compañías explotaban el, el petróleo mexicano eh, en la época de la Segunda Guerra Mundial? So during the Second World War, do you know how many companies were exploiting the Mexican petroleum? Antes que termine la guerra. Before the war ended. 600, 600 compañías petroleras petroleum companies operaban entonces en México. Were at that time operating in Mexico. Excepto, ex, eh, excepto 27 de ellas aceptaron las leyes de calles. But on, except um, 27 of them accepted the rules of calles. Calles, que era un presidente. He was a president. Pero son creciente eh, el tema y la preocupación de México en But it grew the matter and the preoccupation of Mexico torno a su petróleo. En 1937 el gobierno mexicano del periodo de Cárdenas ordenó una investigación completa de la industria del petróleo. So he says that uh, when Cárdenas uh, was in power, he demanded an investigation regarding the petroleum industry. Como la establecía la ley del trabajo. And that was how it was established in the law regarding work. Estallaron huelgas. So they started to picket and uh, uh, have um, uh, like walkouts. Uh, what is it that... that uh, Uh, unions do where you have a oh my gosh I can't think of the word uh, where people stop working <laughs> I can't think of the word but anyway you know where, where people strike they go on strike en los pozos de petróleo y muy pronto la tensión hizo crisis so pretty soon all that tension caused a crisis o sea esto pasaba en 1938 en plena And this was happening in 1938 during that uh, world war o antes, or prior to it, de la guerra. prior to the war. Y bueno, se quedaron con nuestro petróleo, se quedaron con todo y sí. So they kept our petroleum, they took everything Instalaron. and they installed themselves. Por eso que ahora entre muros y puentes se debate México. And that is why today between walls and bridges were debating Mexico. Manuel López Obrador is el gran peligro para el cambio de toda Latinoamérica. So, Andrés Manuel López Obrador is that danger that they see for all of Latin America. Y muy pronto irán por AMLO. And pretty soon, they're going to go for AMLO. AMLO tendrá que manejarse con una inteligencia realmente extraordinaria para poder... AMLO will have to navigate and deal with it with an extraordinary amount of intelligence. Poder sortear. To be able to sort it out. Este tema del Tratado de Libre Comercio entre Estados Unidos, Canadá y México... This matter of the free commerce deal between Canada, uh, the U.S., and Mexico. Porque los demócratas. Because the Democrats. 
ya le están poniendo condiciones are already giving conditions que el Fondo Monetario Internacional quiere imponerle a México that the um, International uh, Monetary Fund is trying to impose on Mexico y eh, al no poder ingresar a Venezuela como habían planeado and since they were not able to enter into Venezuela the way they had planned el objetivo ahora es que AMLO no tenga éxito. So their objective is now that AMLO is not successful. Por ejemplo, aquí en el Perú, nadie habla de AMLO. For example, here in Peru, nobody talks about AMLO. No existe AMLO. He doesn't exist here. Pero subliminalmente, en la, los opinólogos de la... But subliminally, in the opinion... Uh, of the uh, media, de la prensa monopólica, uh, the uh, mon monopoly of the press, insinúan ya que México ha caído en manos de la izquierda, are insinuating that Mexico has fallen into the hands of the leftists, y que AMLO es un izquierdista que está siguiendo la línea de Chávez o de Maduro y, and that AMLO is a leftist that is following the uh, Uh, the guidelines or the style of Maduro and uh, someone else he said um, that it, I guess is a very leftist I can't remember the name now Se cierne como un peligro. and they say he is a danger so but this is not true this is a lie this is a fallacy Falacia. pero esta falacia transmitida But this fallacy is transmitted Desde los canales de televisión en Norteamérica. from the channels of TV in North America y de los canales que replican lo que Norteamérica publica. and with those channels that replicate what is uh, uh, put out by the channels in North America or the media in North America, which I believe they mean the U.S. Eh, yo trato de convencer a la gente con la que hablo. And I try to convince the people with whom I speak. Y quienes siguen mi página. And those that follow my, my pages or my channels. Que AMLO es un humanista. That AMLO is a humanist. Que no es un revolucionario de izquierda. And that he is not a leftist revol revolutionary. Recalcitrante sino es un hombre que se está anticipando a los hechos. But he's not um, uh, a leftist. He's a man who is anticipating the behavior. Porque ya en la historia siempre nos pusieron muros. Because already in history they've always put up barrier walls. Para que nunca pudiéramos salir adelante. So that we could never get ahead en nuestro desarrollo y en nuestro crecimiento y cómo with our development and with our growth o México but like Mexico en 30 o 40 años in 30 or 40 years será la primera fuerza will be the strongest or world power en los Estados Unidos in the United States México definitivamente es un peligro. So Mexico is definitely a danger for them. Para los intereses en los Estados Unidos. For the interests in the United States. México es una potencia. Mexico is a power. Y se proyecta como potencia. And it projects itself as a power. Siempre y cuando AMLO triunfe but only if AMLO is triumphant. Pero el triunfo de AMLO but AMLO's triumph podría repercutir sobre la Argentina. could somehow affect or cause repercussions to Argentina. Para que la Argentina, que la tenía bajo control total. So that Argentina, which was under the complete and total control of Macri. 
of y Macri, los neoliberales. Of Macri and the neoliberals. Con el debate de ayer. Such as the debate of yesterday. Del domingo. Which actually was on Sunday. Que ha sido realmente una un bochorno. Which has actually been an embarrassment. Total. A total embarrassment. Una puesta en escena. It was like a placement of a scene. De una película muy mal hecha. Of a movie that was very poorly made. Dándole a cada candidato un minuto para que salve la giving each candidate only one minute to save Argentina, de la crisis. Argentina from the crisis en que la ha llevado el gobierno neoliberal de Macri. Which um, it has taken the neoliberal, um, been taken to by the neoliberal uh, Macri. Que endeudado a ese país. Which has indebted that country en la cifra más grande de la historia argentina. In the largest cipher or number that has ever been uh, in debt for Argentina. Más de 130 mil millones de dólares. More than 130,000 million dollars. De los cuales han desaparecido ya 30 mil millones de dólares. Of which 30 million dollars have already disappeared. En cuentas offshore. In offshore accounts. De amigos de Macri. Esto. That belong to friends of Macri. Se dijo ayer en el debate y Macri no pudo refutar. And it was said yesterday in the debate and Macri could not refute it. Ese argumento, la cosa. Or that argument. Peligroso entonces. So the situation is very dangerous then. Van por todo. They're going after everything. Y vienen por AMLO. And they're going after AMLO. Fracasada el intento de militarización del, del ataque a Venezuela. So after their failed military attack on Venezuela. Y no solamente con los... Eh, los eh, golpes y las medidas económicas en but not only with the sanctions and uh, uh, economic measures that they've attacked them with encuentro de Venezuela no solamente dejaron que Maduro se cayera solo sino presi but they didn't just allow Maduro to fall by himself but they invitaron la desgracia que hoy día padece, padece Venezuela con una enorme migración a nuestros países they also invited this great migration of the people into our countries. Y los venezolanos eh, sacrificados como entonces porque el... And the Venezuelan people sacrificed like since then historia de la crisis de América Latina like the story of the crisis of Latin America. El periodista Gunter también habla de que Venezuela navegaba en petróleo. Gunther also spoke that Venezuela used to navigate in petroleum as well. Pero sin embargo adolecía de alimentos. But it had a scarcity of or food shortages. Y los alimentos que eran importados. And those um, foods uh, that were imported. De otros países porque no tenían industria salvo de. That were at imported from other countries because they had no industry for food. En el petróleo. They, they dealt only in petroleum. Les quitaron la comida. So what they did was they took away their food para quitarles luego el petróleo. so that then they could take away their petroleum. So I'm not telling you this reality because it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Sino que esto está escrito en las páginas de América Latina. But it is written in the pages of this book, Latin America. Están escritos en las páginas de este libro de John Gunther. 
And they're written in the pages of this book that was written by John Gunther. Donde hace revelaciones where he makes revelations que ponen al Perú en boca del mundo a that also puts Peru in the mouth of the world este libro. within this book. Porque había que escoger. Because we had a choice to make. Entre la libertad de América between the liberty of America o el fascismo que Mussolini también quería instalar that, uh, or the fascism that Mussolini was trying to install as well. Con sus voceros mediat and with their media um, voice boxes en el Perú, en México, that were in Peru and in Mexico y en Argentina. and in Argentina. O sea, se habla de que el está vivo, so when they say that fascism is alive, que la quinta columna alemana también está detrás de nuestros países. And that the fifth uh, quarter of uh, Germany is also behind our countries or after our countries. Entonces, de alguna manera justificamos que Donald Trump no permita que Europa, ni Rusia, ni China, esta vez dos nuevos enemigos. Se... So now, we are betting on Trump not to allow China or uh, Germany or uh, all these other countries <laughs> to invade and, and try to become owners of our countries. De, como le vez, el patrio de los they didn't want them to be in their back porch. Estados Unidos. It's, and that's what they call us, their back porch. America del Sur. And that's South America. Pero lo grave aquí está que el vecino que está... But the grave part here is that the neighbor that is to the south... Cerca de Dios. And that is what you would say close to God. Decían lejos de Dios y muy cerca del diablo. And they used to say close to God but very... Oh, no, far from God but very close to the devil. No, este es un metáfora. That's just a metaphor. Este eh, significa que AMLO tiene que manejarse. Con... But what this means is that AMLO is going to have to manage himself. Con la inteligencia que lo está haciendo. With the intelligence that he is doing. Con todo en contra. With everything against him. Tiene la prensa en contra. He has the press against him. Tiene las calificadoras de riesgo en contra. He has the uh, qualifiers, uh, risk qualifiers, like uh, uh, the, the ones that say uh, how they're doing financially. I can't think of the name of them, but I think it's like on uh, Wall Street. Uh, and there's some, some uh, newspapers uh, that say like the risk factors for each country. Tiene los grandes poderes económicos mundiales en contra. And he also has the great world economic powers against him. Y AMLO solamente con su tenacidad, su persistencia, su... And AMLO, simply with his tenacity, his persistence... Carácter. And his character. Y su paz interior. And his internal peace. Los está doblegando. Is mm, doblegando means like making them double over. Pero el triunfo de AMLO, como yo lo bauticé. But the triumph, the triumph of AMLO, as I so baptized him. No ahora. Not today. Sino la primera vez que lo bauticé como el líder de Latinoamérica. But the first time that I baptized him or named him the leader of Latin America. Fue por el 20 de marzo. It was on the 20th of March. Repetí el editorial el 9 de mayo. And I repeated my editorial on uh, May 9th. Frente a él. In front of him. Cuando le dije de qué madera está hecho usted. When I said to him, what wood 
are you made from, sir? En el Palacio Nacional, cuando... At the National Mexican Palace. Lo asistí a las mañaneras de AMLO. When I assisted the morning conferences of AMLO. Yo sabía lo que estaba jugándose AMLO. But I knew what AMLO was playing at. Y lo dije en mis editoriales. And I said it in my editorials. Que no creían en las encuestas que lo ponían en 85%. And to not believe the, the numbers that they were saying that he was at 85%. Porque después lo irían bajando. Because they would use that number to then lower it. Que creyera solamente en su pueblo. That he should believe only in his people. Y en su pueblo y para su pueblo. And in his people and for his people. Que él está trabajando. For whom he is working. Decididamente. No puede creer ni en lo que diga el Fondo Monetario. And he's decidedly working for them. And he cannot believe even in, in what the monetary fund uh, is saying. Internacional. Or the International Monetary Fund is saying. Quiere traerlo abajo. Because they, they want to bring him down. Porque ya le mandaron ciertas notificaciones a AMLO. Because they've already sent certain notifications to AMLO. De que si no precariza los sueldos. That if he doesn't uh, arrange the salaries. Y no comienza a pedirle al pequeño empresario que se incorpore al mundo laboral. And, and they um, also demanded that he ask the, the small street vendors to incorporate themselves into the um, uh, regular um, uh, economy in order to... Y que deje la informalidad de eso. And, and to leave that informality aside. Miles de ciudadanos mexicanos. Because there's uh, thousands of Mexican citizens. Que tienen que sobrevivir en la informalidad. That survive with this informal work. Pero ahora no. Los quieren incorporar en la formalidad. So now they want to incorporate them in the formal uh, way of uh, working. Que paguen impuestos. So that they can pay taxes. Liberando a las grandes So they can liberate the great companies. Compañías y a los grandes consorcios. And the great consortiums. Del pago de los. To liberate them from making the payments. Los impuestos que. Of the taxes. Además nunca pagaron. Which by the way they've never paid. Siempre buscaron la consolidación. They've always looked for that consolidation. Siempre buscaron la consolidación de sus empresas y hacer crecer sus... And they've always looked for the consolidation of their companies and to make one great big... Sus empresas... Company. En base a las condonaciones de deuda tributaria. To uh, make... Uh, condoning the uh, tributary uh, uh, donations. Entonces, eh, la figura es muy clara. So the figure is very clear. Estoy en el aire, ¿no? He's la figura es muy clara porque el presidente de México, si tiene éxito, el So the figure is very clear because if the president of Mexico is successful, primer año, como yo lo dije, during the first year, like I said before, y maneja sus propias estadísticas y todos los días continúa And if he manages his own statistics and every day continues with the morning conferences. Con la mañanera. Y nosotros, los nuevos periodistas independientes que están. And us, the new independent media that are working with the. En las redes sociales. In the world wide webs, the holy webs. Comunicamos estrictamente la verdad. And we communicate strictly the truth no con el fin de apoyar a, a un hombre en ese not to the end of supporting a man sabiamente no necessarily sino una luz que se enciende en América but to light up a light in America de Latina Latin America para demostrarnos que es posible 
to demonstrate to ourselves that it is possible recuperar nuestros países to recover or recuperate our countries del yugo y ser from that uh, yoke soberano de una vez por todas nos hemos quedado and to become sovereigns once and for all sin industrias and for our industries nos hemos quedado sin el manejo de nuestras riquezas we've been left without the management of our industry our riches pero tenemos un ejemplo casi en solitario que es Bolivia. But we have one example which is uh, kind of solitary in Bolivia. Yeah. El gran ejemplo que nos dieron. The great example that they gave us. Ayer los ecuatorianos. Yesterday the Equatorian people. Que se trajeron abajo un decreto ley. That brought down a decreed law. Con una decisión extraordinaria de ese with an extraordinary decision. Pueblo. Felicitaciones. By that people. Congratulations. Es al pueblo ecuatoriano. To the Equatorian people. Pero el abanderado, el abanderado que camina sólido en los mares tormentosos. De... But the one with a flag that walks on the tempestuous waters el neoliberalismo of the neoliberalism es Andrés Manuel López Obrador is Andrés Manuel López Obrador la gran esperanza the great hope yo le llamé el líder de América Latina I once called him the leader of Latin America nacido presidente he was born a president el hombre 24-7 He's a man 24-7. No descansa ni sábado ni domingo. He doesn't even rest on Saturday and Sunday. Y eso lo tiene preocupados a sus rivales. And that has preoccupied, made his rivals very worried. Porque los demás, por lo general, llegan al poder. Because the rest, in general, get into their power. A gozar de las, de las prebendas, a gozar to take advantage and enjoy the privileges of that position. Gozar de los privilegios, a gozar de, de, de eso que, que encanta y, y, y subyúa a los mediocres. That, and they take advantage of those things which actually subjugate those that are mediocre. Uh, mediocre que es el poder en sí mismo. Which is the power in and of itself. En cambio, AMLO, el poder le es con natural, ¿por qué? But in, in the case of AMLO, the power for him is something like natural. Él nació para presidente. Because he was born to be a president. La peleó. And he fought for it. No lo fabricó el marketing. And he was not fabricated or marketed by the media. Pero tiene un rival muy fuerte al costado que se llama Donald Trump. But he has a rival, which is uh, next to him, which is Donald Trump. Donald Trump que está construyendo muros. Donald Trump who is constructing walls. Y esos muros se paran. And those murals or uh, walls, barriers, separate al hombre de otro a man, one man from another y esto construye una desigualdad enorme and this creates an inequality an enormous inequality enorme ahora bien Trump es un nacionalista so now Trump is a nationalist y hay que felicitarlo and let's congratulate him él defiende a su país vamos He defends his country. A ver del ángulo de Donald Trump. So let's look at it from the angle of Donald Trump. Donald Trump defiende los suyos. Donald Trump defends his own. Ha crecido el empleo. And work has grown. Uh, people work two jobs now. Ha mejorado la economía. The economy has bettered. 
Entonces los norteamericanos ven en Donald Trump un hombre que a pesar de construir... So they, the Americans uh, see Trump as someone who not only constructed... Muros, created uh, or constructed walls, but also defended... De los suyos. Defended his own. Perfecto. Perfect. Pero AMLO, but AMLO, con otra filosofía, with a different philosophy, con otra forma de hacer política, with a different form of doing politics, construye puentes, creates bridges, y defiende a los suyos. and defends his people. Entonces aquí hay dos formas de hacer política distintas. So here are two different ways to do politics. Dos miradas del mundo diferentes. Two ways of looking at the world differently. Pero ambos están respaldados por sus pueblos. Es muy probable. And both are backed by their people. De que Donald Trump sea reelecto. And it's quite possible that Trump may be reelected. En mi opinión, los demócratas que ya le pusieron condiciones a AMLO. And in my opinion, the Democrats, which had already given conditions to AMLO, para que ingrese al Fondo Monetario Internacional, se las pusieron ya. So that he could enter into the uh, Monetary uh, International Fund, Están which they imposed on a entender. They are letting me know. A mí. Me. Desde mi punto de vista. Or that is from my point of view. De analista de la geopolítica. As a, a, what do they call that? Um, geopolitical analyst. Que si AMLO mantiene una relación de cordialidad. Re that if uh, AMLO maintains a cordial relationship with Trump. Respeto mutuo con Donald Trump y se hace respetar uh, como lo mutual, ha hecho ahora with mutual respect and he makes himself be respected as he has done up to now. AMLO le conviene que Donald Trump siga en el gobierno y a Donald Trump le conviene que AMLO tenga éxito. He believes that AMLO would, it would be convenient for AMLO if Trump stayed in power and that it would be convenient for Trump if AMLO stayed in power. Dejar a Argentina solo. And they would leave, and then he would leave Argentina alone. Y si Alberto Fernández, que gana en Argentina. And if Al Alberto Fernández won in Argentina. Se pliega a AMLO. And he follows AMLO, or, or kind of uh, joins himself with AMLO. Aprende la filosofía de AMLO. And he learns the philosophy of AMLO. La cosa se torna interesante. Como lo... the, the situation could actually become very interesting. Lo dije alguna vez, porque el río Bravo hasta la Patagonia. Because as I said one, uh, once before, from Rio Bravo to Patagonia. Habrían dos grandes países. There would be two great countries. Que fueron potencia. That were or are great powers. Fueron potencia y que después con el neoliberalismo perdió. And then with the neoliberalism they lost. Vieron su preeminencia en el mundo. They lost their prominence in the world. Y hoy día pues es curioso que el peso argentino de nueve. And so now it's very curious that the Argentinian peso. 95 que estaba hace 5 años, 4 años, hoy día esté bordeando los 70 so por that, dólar. So that the um, peso that was, um, I think he said around 5 pesos, uh, was 5 pesos per dólar, is now somewhere around 75 pesos per dólar. Han destruido el país. And they have destroyed the country. Pero siempre se busca un enemigo, porque para triunfar en, en política... But they always look for an enemy, because in order to triumph in politics... Siempre hay que crear un enemigo. They create an enemy. Imaginar un enemigo, porque... And they imagine an enemy. 
solamente imaginando un enemigo, fabricando un enemigo. Because only imagining or fabricating an enemy. El que esté en el poder asusta. The one that is in power inflicts fear. Al elector para consolidarse. So that they can uh, be elected and consolidated. Entonces tengamos en cuenta estos elementos porque se so we need to take these elements into account. Viene algo muy fuerte para AMLO. El, because something very strong is coming at AMLO. Los próximos meses. In the next few months. Y Oppenheimer comenzó a opinar que es un peligro. And already Oppenheimer has started giving his opinion that he is a danger. Oppenheimer, el vocero de los conservadores norteamericanos dice Oppenheimer is the voice man or the voice box for the conservatives in uh, North America. Que que AMLO es un peligro. They say that or he says that AMLO is a danger. Pero no dice que Trump es un peligro. But he doesn't say that Trump is a danger. Porque AMLO y Trump tiene because AMLO and Trump un común denominador defienden lo suyo, cada uno. have a common denominator. They both defend their own Unos estilo. in their own styles, Siendo vecinos. being that they're neighbors. Y son vecinos que se necesitan unos a otros. And they are neighbors that need one another. Porque si AMLO toma las riendas, because if AMLO takes a hold of the reins, de las exportaciones. Of the exportations. Puede poner en crisis a Estados Unidos. He could put the United States into crisis. Y a Estados Unidos le conviene que toda la parte del medio de los Estados Unidos que se dedican a la agricultura y la ganadería no pierdan. And for the United States, it would be convenient that all the um, agricultural Um, and uh, cattlemen in the uh, central part of uh, America not be um, hindered en el mercado mexicano tampoco. Pues, by the Mexican uh, market also. Un juego interesante de, so that is where there's an interesting little game de poder en el mercado y en, of power in the market el comercio and in commerce de ambos países of both countries. Y aparecen en el escenario dos figuras nuevas. But in the scenes we're seeing two new figures. China, que quiere el tren Maya. Chi China, that wants the Maya train. Quiere el tren Maya. It wants the Maya train. Y Rusia, que por un lado... But Russia, on the one hand, dice, no toquen a Venezuela. says, do not touch Venezuela. Entonces, Estados Unidos va perdiendo poder. So the U.S. is losing its power. Entonces, Trump ya lo sabe. And Trump already knows this. Y Trump crea una noticia, es un... And so then Trump creates some news. Trump is a very uh, good gran fabricante de noticias, a fabricator of news, un excelente comunicador, an excellent communicator, un excelente showman de la noticia, an excellent showman of the news, y ahora fabrica un mundo, and so now he fabricates this world, de debate, of debate, para estar en boca de la prensa, so that he can be in the mouth of the press, porque bien sabe Trump Because Trump knows very well que es preferible que hablen mal, pero que hablen. that it's preferable that they talk bad about him, but that they talk about him. Y AMLO también lo sabe. And AMLO also knows this. Por eso hay que respaldar a AMLO con sus mañaneras. And that is why we have to back AMLO with the morning meetings or conferences. Que siga creciendo. And that he continue to grow. Y nosotros seguir defendiendo la cuarta transformación. And we need to continue to defend the fourth transformation. <coughs> que trasciende las fronteras de México y se convierte en un proyecto latinoamericano. Which transcends the borders 
and becomes a Latin American problem. <coughs> Para mí, AMLO es el líder de Latinoamérica y lo sostengo ahora. For me, AMLO is the leader of Latin America and I sustain that today. <coughs> y la fecha, ¿qué día estamos hoy? And I'm going to uh, say the uh, date, repeat the date. What is the date today? <coughs> And she said the 14th of October. Estamos 14 de octubre del 2019. 2019. So he says, I reiterate and I say that AMLO becomes the strongest. Um, because he works 24-7. está echando puentes en un mundo donde se están construyendo muros. And he is building bridges in a world where people are putting up barrier walls. Bien, señoras y señores, este fue mi comentario. Si a usted le gustó, suscríbase a este canal. And very well, ladies and gentlemen, this was my con commentary. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Um, anyway, so that's how far I'm going to take it. Um, there was more there, but, um, oh, I don't know. Well, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit. Apóyelo, porque somos el canal que está buscando, y acá lo he bautizado con este nombre, Canales Independientes Unidos. So he says that um, we are the channel, or his is the channel, that is looking to have um, the uh, YouTubers be independent but united as, as a group. Para promover a los YouTubers nuevos. To promote the new YouTubers. Y que los YouTubers nuevos puedan hacer una sinergia. So that the new YouTubers can uh, create a synergy como lo hace la prensa monopólica. The way the monop uh, monopolic press does it. Y nosotros sin ser monopolio de nadie porque cada uno. And we all who are not um, a monopoly of anybody because we are all independent. Uno es independiente, nos tiene que unir algún vaso comunicante y ese vaso. And we have to be <coughs> united by a base of communication. Tu comunicante es la verdadera defensa de nuestra Latinoamérica unida. Which is the very defense of our united Latin America. Que juntos pueden ser una potencia enorme porque that together we can be a great power. Representamos el mercado más grande junto con Brasil. Because we represent the greatest, largest market along with Brazil. Argentina. Argentina y México and Mexico representamos con esos tres países nada más with just those three countries alone we represent un mercado mucho más potente que Estados Unidos ¿sí? a greater much greater power than the United States no, y, y Europa and Europe entonces somos grandes so, so yes we are great big somos ricos y estamos pobres but we are wealthy we have riches but we are poor impoverished es una contradicción increíble it's an incredible contradiction increíble. argentina alimenta al mundo entero argentina feeds the whole world con sus productos y no with its products no puede alimentar al 30% de los argentinos and it cannot feed 30% of the argentinian people dinos qué pasa entre nosotros so what is happening amongst ourselves nos robamos nosotros mismos. Are we stealing from ourselves? ¿Cómo el Perú, un país tan rico que tiene litio, oro? How is it that a country like Peru that has lithium, gold, plata, zinc, silver, zinc, todos los recursos naturales, all of the natural resources, Venezuela que tiene un petróleo, Venezuela which has petroleum, en la cuenca del Orinoco, which has, it has, in the cuenca of the Linoco, que sale solo ese pe that petroleum just comes out by itself on its own. Petróleo. 
de que ha sido fruto de las grandes compañías norteamericanas con rock. And that has been the fruit of the great American, uh, North American companies like the Rockefeller. Rockefeller en el año 1930, ¿cuál? In the 1930s and 40s. 30, que estaba dueño de las grandes, de los grandes este, complejos. And they were the owners of the great complexes. Petroleros. Of petroleum. Entonces la historia la vamos de, de, dibujando desde aquí. So we are... Um, drawing out the history for you right here. Pero no piensen que estamos peor que antes, estamos mejor. But don't think that we're worse off than before. We're actually better off. Porque antes, porque los medios de comunicación. Because now the communication media. Alternativos, la web. The alternative, the worldwide holy web. Benditas redes sociales nos permiten a cada uno de nosotros. Permit each one of us. Dos ir aprendiendo to be learning porque nadie hoy día puede considerarse eh, ajeno because no one can consider themselves today to be an outsider a la geopolítica to the geopolitics porque la geopolítica hoy día está en manos de todos nosotros because today geopolitics is in the hands of everyone a través del internet via the internet y podemos saber quién es quién. Ustedes pueden averiguar quién es Ricardo Belón Abril. And we can know who is who. <coughs> you can research right now who is Ricardo Belmont. Ahora mismo. <laughs> La manera de anécdota. Me río. He says, and I'm just going to uh, tell you something, kind of an anecdote, which makes me laugh. Tío, porque cuando estuve en México, se... Because when I was in Mexico, 9 de mayo y me estreché en un abrazo. And I was and I was there on the 9th of May, and I stretched my hands out and hugged and hugged the president of Mexico. Chico, los YouTubers, obviamente pagados. Those YouTubers that were obviously paid. Por algún sector del, del conservadurismo. By a sector of the conservatism. Me acusaron de espía. Accused me of being a spy. En México. In Mexico. ¿Qué hace este hombre? Este hombre es un espía. They said, what is this man doing here? He's a spy. <laughs> de la noche a la mañana me convertí en espía. So from one night to the morning, I became a spy. I was converted into a spy. De la CIA decían algo. Oh, they said of CIA, some of them. Entonces, todas estas cosas eh, se pueden decir también en las redes sociales. So they can say all these things, of course, in the, in the World Wide Web. Pero si usted quiere averiguar y recién me escucha por primera vez. But if you wanted to search it out and you're listening to me for the first time. ¿Quién soy? Me llamo Ricardo Belmont Casinelli. So who am I? I'm Ricardo Belmont Casinelli. Casinelli, tengo 74 años de edad. I'm 74 years of age. Fui alcalde de Lima dos veces. Fui con... I was the mayor of Lima two times. Me resiste la república. I was a congressman in the Republic. Y candidato a la presidencia de la República. And I was a candidate for the presidency of the Republic. Le llevo ocho años a AMLO. And I'm older than AMLO by eight years. Tengo la misma edad que Donald Trump. And I have the same age as uh, Donald Trump. Y puedo entender lo que siente un hombre de la edad de Donald Trump. And I can understand how a man Donald Trump's age feels. Que ya pasa los deseos de esos de la juventud and the desires of youth have already passed para sentirse y pasar a la historia now you feel like you're just going to pass into history lo que quieren los hombres como AMLO what the, the thing that men like AMLO want y Trump and Trump también eso los, los enaltece y los perjudica a su vez ¿Qué? which also at, by one way in one way it raises them up and in another way it brings them down es pasar la historia. is to go into history Cada uno con su filosofía. each one with his own philosophy Donald Trump un nacionalismo ultranza. and Donald Trump has a nationalism which is ultra ultrans <laughs> en defensa de lo suyo. who defends his own y AMLO, un nacionalista también And AMLO is also a nationalist. A ultranza, pero con 
el humanismo como, como arma fundamental. Uh, who also um, has uh, the um, nationalism, <clears throat> but as his main arm, fundamental arm, his, his humanitarianism. Mientras que Donald Trump tiene otras armas. Um, and while um, Trump has other arms. Aún más peligrosas. Which are much more dangerous. Y, eh, porque el humanismo es peligroso para él. Because humanism is dangerous for him yes. oh. or for them. El humanismo es peligroso porque... Um, the reason they consider humanism dangerous is because... Humanizar a la gente... To humanize people es hacerla pensar is to make them think de que el ser humano tiene los mismos derechos that human beings have the same rights que cualquier otro. as anyone else. No interesa la cuenta bancaria. And the bank account doesn't matter. Y eso es lo que ha hecho AMLO con los mexicanos. Les ha dado una... And that is what AMLO has done with the Mexican people. Autoestima que no... He has given them self-esteem, no which they had didn't have before. Ese país con la droga, con los that country, which was identified with drugs, with the cartels of Sinaloa, Sinaloa de Tijuana, and Tijuana, a en su begins to uh, transform itself anímico, en su estado, from its anemic uh, way of being. Espiritual. In, in a spiritual way. Un que el Because they have a president that practices humanism. Y por otro lado, el hombre, But on the other hand, más del mundo, the uh, most powerful man in the world, con dos rivales que le pisan los talones, with two rivals that are on his heels, y con una fuerza militar, in, and with an incredible military force, calculable, That's incalculable. Tiene que seguir demostrando que puede ir por el todo también. And he needs to continue to prove that he can go for all of it. Señoras y señores, muchísimas gracias por haberme dispensado con su sintonía. And thank you very much for being here. Uh, and, you know, uh, being in, uh, show, joining his channel are watching the show. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> I find this man to be quite impressive. Um, and I, I listened to this already before. Um, and I was thinking, what? You know, I want to just make a, a brief little, you know, discussion of it. But then the same thing happens to me with AMLO. I feel like every word has so much meaning, all these little quirks and twerks and, and little details that they tell you um, that make it so clear, that make me realize, you know, what's going on in the world. And um, I never really was interested in politics and really, I'm still... I am now, but in a weird way. I'm, I'm interested in how it's going to benefit humanity. Um, I may be more of a humanist myself. Uh, and I mean, this, this doesn't matter to anybody but me, but I just feel like there's so much to be learned and we need to share. And, you know, I, I agree with a lot that he says, but... I don't think he realizes that there's anything other than the Democrats and the Republicans. Um, because there's Bernie. Bernie is a lot like AMLO. We don't have to subject ourselves to either the Democrats or the Republicans. We can go for somebody like Bernie, who does, is a humanist as well, who wants us to have free education like AMLO, who wants us to have um, a Uh, you know, health care and, and, you know, feed, you know, help the elderly and change, change all these laws that are, that are destroying us. Um, that's why I kind of had to bite my tongue when he was saying that, but, you know, he is, 
um, he is quite quite uh, educated and maybe he knows better than me but maybe I'm being an idealist when I say that you know I wish that all of us had somebody like AMLO and I think that in the US the someone like AMLO is Bernie Bernie Sanders um, and uh, I was thinking I need to I need to show you guys someday I need to show you guys the similes um, they they are very much alike and and I think that they don't want really want us to know about AMLO and they really don't want us to know about Bernie uh, because it it wouldn't work with their plan uh, it would undermine their plan to keep us under their control and uh, and I do, I, I do want to undermine their plan. I think they're horrible, what they're doing to uh, all our Latin American countries. It's deplorable, it's disgusting how they could dehumanize people and steal everything from them and, and, and not pay any taxes and, and make the poor people pay taxes and, and leave them without any of the necessities of life. The people are hungry and in need of medical attention, education, everything. And they steal it all from us and they make everything, uh, what, what is it that they do? They, they convert everything into something you have to pay for. The things that were once free are now things you have to pay for. Pretty soon they're going to be charging us for air. They're already charging us for water. I mean... Yeah, it, it's, it's going to get worse if we don't get out from under them. And we need to get away from them. Well, that's just my humble opinion. Anyway, that's my show. Talk to you later. Bye.